Nope, that's the wrong. Where's the right one? There it is. God damn it. Took me a minute. Hello, all. Now then, where did... You know it would help if I remembered to open up the, uh... The weird window viewing thing first. Na da Okay, well that music came out of fucking nowhere for me, and OBS doesn't see it. Hang on. There we go. Let's turn that down so it doesn't kill any of you. Thank you, Haley. Oh, that's so much better in my ears now, too. There we go. Okay. Chatbot, where did you go? Chatbot, why are you behind the game? How did you even manage that? Maha! That chatbot is not up to date. What about this one? That chatbot is also not up to date. That's impressive. There we go! So! Okay, good. Uh, welcome back to our Pokemon Yellow Nuzlocke. So, quick reminder. Uh, in our party, because I decided to be stupid, um, we still have a Pidgey and a... Um, oh god, I've forgotten the name. A uh, uh, Mankey in reserve. Specifically... Uh, Punch Fu and I can't remember the Pidgey's name right now, but uh, because I'm a terrible person and want to die apparently, we've swapped in Magican, who is our wonderful, totally useful Magikarp. It literally knows only Splash. Yeah, that's gonna be fun. Uh, we have Asshole, who is our wonderful, goofy, largely useless Ratatata. Uh, Purry Thing, who is our wonderful Nidoran, who is actually really close to evolving into a Nidorino. Zappy, who is our Pikachu, and has its weird, weird audio thing. Uh, Crystal, who is our Nidoran, or our other Nidoran, who's kind of close to evolving in... Yeah, Nidoran, who's kind of close to evolving into a Nidorina. Their names are stupid. Uh, and... Lastly, because I am a masochist, Banshee, who is our level 7 Zubat. Uh, kind of, except that, yeah, you can end up in an awful death spiral, which is sort of like a stun lock, I suppose. I don't know why I'm not fully healed, because I was just grind- God damn it! I was just grinding last night, and I thought I finished up and healed, but I guess not. So I'm trying to set a, uh... A sort of rule, which is that I will try and make sure that no one evolves off stream. Which is why a uh, purry thing is really close to evolving, and I didn't do it before now, because he'd probably be significantly more powerful if I let him evolve, but. Eh, I decided that I don't remember how evolutions look in Gen 1, so I might as well. Experience it with all of you, since our starter's not gonna goddamn evolve. Oh, so, just so everyone's remembering... Uh, he is... Six or seven. We just got him. Oliver, stop chewing on yourself, you goober. Let's see. Uh, six. Yep. Yep. I'm gonna regret this decision, but I've just decided to to make it even more of a challenge and try and get him into a Gyarados, eventually. So, we are in the wonderful, special, Zubat-based hell that is Mount Moon. I don't remember what that TM is. I mean, assuming that we don't all die before we get to the Helix Fossil, yeah. <laughs> I wish we had a rock type, but we are not that lucky. I mean, it is, but it also doesn't learn any water type attacks in this game until, like, level 41. 
when I think it learns Hydro Pump. In fact, yeah, actually, when it evolves, the only move it learns, if I recall correctly, is Bite. <laughs> Yay, I can actually use potions. Those are helpful. Come here. Are, did, did you just call me suspicious? That was kind of mean. Ah. Oh, I think we can handle a Weedle. Well, I think we can handle a Weedle with a Pokemon that has a move that does damage. Um, Fortunately, I've is a little bit weak, so screw it. We'll try and get... Uh... Furry thing up to 16. Oh yeah, we'll definitely be using TMs. I just mean naturally, like nothing learns any good moves naturally in Gen 1. <laughs> also, hey Odin Sun, welcome back, man. I was just waiting to find out that I once again got poisoned from the third poison sting we've ever seen. Magic Carp doesn't have any attacks, but it's a Kakuna, so I'm not that worried. Admittedly, the last time I said that, it turned out to be a Metapod that for once knew Tackle and got a crit, so... Let's try and not fuck this up. Why are you suspicious, Alfcat? Right! Now I remember why I usually send Zappy out against these guys. Because Harden is a pain in the ass. I suppose I could be tail whipping, but then I just end up in an endless cycle of trying not to lose first. At the same time, I kind of have the quick attacks to waste, so... We'll just do that. But yeah, I mean, the lack of decent moves is part of why I was really, really happy to get a male Nidoran, because they can actually learn Horn Attack instead of Scratch! <laughs> just such a worse move. I'm astounded that that one didn't surprisingly no tackle as well. Yay, we got Asshole to 11. Maybe one day he'll go higher than that. Maybe. Are you also a trainer? Of course you are. What? I'm waiting for my friends to find me here. You're in a cave in the middle of goddamn nowhere. It's also a cave that only goes one way. You can't come back the other way. Okay, well... I have this wonderful Pokemon that knows Double Kick, so goodbye, Clefairy. <laughs> yeah, that's about what I was thinking too, Elifcat. I was just trying not to- Damn it! Don't miss! That did way less damage than I was hoping it would. I mean, I wasn't hoping for a one-hit kill, but I was hoping that it wouldn't just- I was hoping it would be closer. Let's go with that. And not hold on with, like, three hit point. No, you may not hurt Purry Thing. I like him. Thank you. Oh, that might be enough. Yes! Yes! Give us the Nidorino. Give it. Right, I do actually like the way they do evolutions in this. This is the one complaint I have about Sun and Moon, is their evolution... Like, the way evolutions happen just looks kind of dumb. I should heal him real quick. That's close enough. Hush! Hush, you! Don't talk about Clefairy poundings. I'm remembering why repels are so important. Admittedly, they don't work when you're leading with a level 7 Magikarp, but still! In theory, they're very important. Why 
One day. One day I will get the experience. Is the experience share in Gen 1? Just occurred to me, I'm not actually sure about that. I hope so. One day I want the- Damn it! You just literally loaded on! Oh good, it's a super nerd. Okay, that's actually kind of bad, because this has way fewer weaknesses in this game. Um, admittedly, I can also hit him with normal type attacks without an issue, so let's go with horn attack. Because you're not a steel type, you fucker! Ha ha ha! Oh. Well, that was really close. Go away. <coughs> Yay, level 8. Beautiful. He's just slamming through those levels. Okay, Voltorb. Um, Crystal, you can handle this one. And hopefully we'll get you a little bit closer to 16. <laughs> Admittedly, your evolution is a little bit less impressive, but still. I am so happy there are no abilities in this game. I just keep thinking about, oh god, what if... Uh, the static triggers. Oh right, that's not a thing for like two more gens. Then again, if this was also two more gens, there's a good chance one of my Pokemon would have Poison Point. Ooh, that was a good amount of experience. Thank you for your money. I hate you, Zubat. I hate you so much. Welcome back, Odin Sun. Uh, if there is an experience share in this, it's the kind of crappy old one that only affects one Pokemon at once. Ugh. Well, okay, not crappy, but less overpowered, let's say. Just realized, am I facing the wrong way for the ge- I am, because I've got everything all screwed up. And then I walked around in a weird circle. Uff, uff, there we go. Hello, Zubat. Could, could you kindly die in a fire? While I move a bunch of bits and pieces around real quick? Nope, not what I wanted. Move! There we go. Aha! Now I'm actually looking at the thing. Okay. Right, you still can't fight. Now I remember why I did an amount of grinding before we started. And why I got really sick of it. Because there's goddamn Zubats everywhere. Damn this cave. I'm going to save that rare candy until our Magikarp is at level 19. Because he's a magic can. Not like you bastards wanted me to name him. Oh, come here, you stupid phone. There we go. Urgh. Hello, bug catcher with no name. I would love to be able to damage your Caterpie, but I can't, so... Your Caterpie can also hit back, so let's go with Asshole? Yeah, I also keep reading it as a uh, Magician. <laughs> like, the first time I read it, it was like, Who the fuck is Magician? Oh, Magican, right! <clears throat> Come on, Asshole, I need you to hit him harder. Without dying, preferably. That was significantly harder. Good job. I'm just gonna keep using Quick Attack. Because it has a less chance, or less chance to fail than Tackle. And does slightly more damage. 
Okay, let's see how greedy we can get with this Metapod. The second it uses one tackle, I'm swapping, though. Alephcat, are you just making song lyrics references today? <laughs> no, that did not scan well at all. Wow, that didn't do any damage. I'm so glad that in the recent gens they boosted Leech Life to be like an 80 power move. Okay. Um, hey, Zappy, you're my only special attacker. Come in here and kill this dude. I mean, you've got, like, what, two extra syllables in Bug Catcher? So yeah, of course it's not gonna work. Or it's not gonna scan right. Yay, at least Sappy got a level. Yeah, okay, I'll take double team. Um, I'll take it over tail whip. That seems like a decent trade. Screw defense. I don't like hitting people anyway. I've got special attack. About to use a Caterpie. Okay. Well, that's because it's late as hell for you. You could just go to sleep. Okay, uh, Crystal, try and take out the Caterpie. Thank you for the tackle, Caterpie, you asshole. Ah, sorry, that one actually took me a minute there. <clears throat> Come on. Yes, you lost. Now give me my money. Weren't there stairs down somewhere? God damn it. Uh, I'm already forgetting how this works. I'm not sure what that C, like, repeating is supposed to be, but okay, that's not... Slightly disturbing. I'm also not killing Pokemon, it's only mine who die. All the other ones just faint. Obviously. There's an item in here, right? Or it could just go to a deeper hole. Or back up out of a hole. Hello, Team Rocket person. I feel as though it is my sworn duty to beat the snot out of you. Mostly because you have a whip. What the hell? What's wrong with you? One day, one day, Magican, you'll learn a goddamn water type move that does some amount of damage. I don't believe I have, because that name does not look even remotely familiar. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, I've never, like, read it specifically, but I have seen a significant amount of them. I may have picked the wrong Pokemon to send out. Yeah, I think I picked the wrong Pokemon to send out, but if this Sandshrew keeps doing stupid attacks... Like that, okay, okay, sure. That seems like a needlessly roundabout way to backspace, but okay. God damn it! What is with you people and holding on with one goddamn health? No! No! Don't crit, don't crit, don't crit. Come on, just kill him. Kill him! 
Okay, so we get to run to a Pokemon Center after this. I feel like I've seen the Pokemon webcomic, but I'm not sure. Did anyone read what Pokemon is coming out? Because I did not. Oh, it's Ratatata. Okay. Well, then Magikan will be fine to suck up a little bit of experience while I switch out to Purry Thing. Fear the Nidorino. Fear it. It's big and scary. It just took six damage. Okay, that might be bad. Yes! Ha! <laughs> yeah, I have seen bits of this then, yeah. Okay, do we just... Let's just lead with Zappy, because I'd rather not take any more... Needless damage here. Ow. I mean, I understand that. That just... Specific combination... Seems like a weird... Series to do for backspace, but... Eh. What are you? Found an HP up. Okay, that's actually a pretty... Decent item. And now we get swarmed by Zubats. Right, forgot about that. I forgot where we were for a half second there. Why couldn't I catch a level 12 Zubat? No, I had to get a level 7. I'm sorry, what? Oh, I thought you were saying something to give me shit. I'm remembering again why I was going to grind more, and then I think I fell asleep grinding, because this fucking cave is nothing but Zubats! Oh, no, Zubats. Uh, oh, right, and, like, 1 in 20 Geodudes. I don't even know what that thing is. Hmm? I don't even know what a Geodude is. Oh. Okay. It's a rock with fists and a face. That seems stupid. A lot of the first forms are kind of dumb. It gets better as it evolves. It also has a really cool Alolan form. One day. One day we'll get to those games. So, we have all these big under bed, like, tubs that we store all the flour in the freezer. Mm hmm I threw out, like, 15 of those today. I thought you threw out, like, 15 of them last week. No, today. Yeah, I thought you also threw out, like, 15 of them last week. No. But I did a big old freezer over all, so... I'm never escaping these sore? fucking Zubats. Because that was a lot of 30 to 50 pound bags that I left. <laughs> also, hi, friends. Oh. I mean, I don't actually have the preview anywhere. Yeah, but you're... There we go. I assume. Possibly. It's a much smaller video window. What I got in that side of your head. There yeah. it goes. Okay. Hi, friends. <laughs> Let me out of this hole. Also, I don't know what a brick brat brick. Ba <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what a brick bat would be as opposed to a zoo bat. It's more the insane multitude of them. Was this spicy to you, or was it just was it just me? What? Was this spicy to you, or was it just me? That was just you. There we go. Uh, I have to keep balancing because these are actually so... <sighs> I'm going to regret clicking on that link, aren't I? These are so, like, nicely fitting that I get weird echoes of my own voice if I talk too much with both on. Oh! 
That's just a brick. Why call it something different? That's just throwing a brick at someone. Or something, but still. God damn it. That is the first grass type we have seen ever. I don't... I'm pretty sure it's half poison, but I'm going to try something stupid. Because I'm not that worried about losing a Zubat. Oh god, it's also faster. Wonderful! Yes! It's not a poison type! <laughs> it's only... Oh, okay, well it dealt two there. Either way, I'm gonna win this fight. It's gonna be really stupid, but I'm gonna win this fight. This is so dumb. This is so dumb. I think Bellsprout is also maybe part poison, but let's try it. No, it's not. Sweet. Especially if it's going to be dumb and keep using growth. I mean, worst case, it might try and one-shot me with a grass-type move, but I'm... Uh, quad strong against that, so I'm not super worried. Yeah, okay, ba Banshee can fucking handle this! Until he runs out of PP, which is a non-zero chance. Yeah! Bug type moves are awesome! Unfortunately, all of the bug types in this game kind of suck balls! Except for, um, Butterfree, and Butterfree doesn't learn any bug type moves. Because the world is cruel. I take it back. I might actually use the... the rare candy on Magican once he hits... 14, because at 15 he learns Tackle, so he won't be entirely freaking useless. But we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Also, that was a very, very terrible pun, Alephcat, and you should feel bad. But I'm pretty sure you already do. Or know that you should. Hey, Team Rocket person. I'm gonna beat the freaking shit out of you. I didn't even have to look down at you this time. Okay, he's got two. Starting with the goddamn Zubat. Getting very good at killing these. That's good. Just to say, I throw... Oh, god damn it! this one actually used supersonic. Fuck. No! Don't hurt yourself. Oh god, that was a lot of damage. Good. Okay. Whoo. That could have been real bad. Okay. Definitely have to heal Zappy after this fight. Ekans. Um. Welcome to the channel, person Dynamo two two or two thousand two hundred twenty-two. There we go. I got the words out eventually. Uh, I feel like Purry thing is probably the best for this because we don't really have a good anti-poison. Actually, now that I think about it, the only thing that's anti-poison is Psychic, isn't it? Ugh. Because we don't have Steel yet, either. Screw your Leer, I've got a Horn Attack. Wow, that was inappropriate. Well, then welcome, Dynamo! Okay. I don't remember what's in this cave. Oh, ground, right. Fortunately, I definitely don't have any ground types. Bide, right! That's why I don't use that one, because bide is shit. 
Okay, what about you? Wait. Can... I'm sorry, Magikarp can't learn Water Gun, but Asshole and Purry Thing can? That's counterintuitive as all hell. What is this one? Mega Punch. Isn't this a normal type move? No, okay. Yeah. Wait, does Squirtle really not learn Water Gun on its own in this game? Oh, for... I honestly don't remember, but I wouldn't put it past Gen 1 to not let Squirtle learn Water Gun. Oop, nope, down, down, down. Gen 1's, like, level up moves are really, really bad, and I forget that. Hey, youngster, also no name. Oh, well, that's gonna be easy to deal with. Oh! Um, no, I just don't have the, like, rotating video yet f for the In Memory Of, since we've also only lost one Pokemon so far. Um. Like, I'm glad I got the rest of the overlay done, but yeah, uh, that part is the one that's missing. Don't you get it at level 5? I thought it was a set level in this game, but I honestly don't recall. Nope, just keep double kicking. Just keep double kicking. Unless they almost kill you, that would be bad. Or you could crit, that's really nice too. Um, yeah, that, that area below, in memory of, we'll just have a, like, endlessly rotating video of all of the Pokemon we've lost. But since thus far all we've lost has been a, uh... Nope, nope, we'll get some experience for Crystal. Uh, has been a... F uh... God damn it, a Spearow? I haven't been super worried about it. If you use Supersonic, I'm gonna be pissed. Okay, good. Okay, I should heal everyone up after this, because I forgot. Yes, losing does stink, youngster with no name. God damn it, I was trying to scroll down to the next person to use it. Uh, I'm getting too used to current Pokemon systems. Ha! Ha 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 ha! I accidentally predicted that. Oh, Moonstone. Are there any moves that we desperately want Nidoran, or Nidorino to learn before we just evolve it. Because I can't think of any decent other moves that it learns. If I'm completely honest. Like, I think it can learn Horn Drill, but Horn Drill is not a good move. Is there anything else that it can learn, or should we just turn it into a Nido King? I did not know that. I honestly kind of forget about the... The what's it called? Um, the Pokemon happiness for Pikachu? Because I've never actually played Yellow before now. Uh, I think that's a Geodude, right? Okay, good. Oh, yes it did. I meant to change that. Right. I even had the image ready for it. No, you, there. Come here. No, no, change. There we go. Yep, I even had that ready. I just entirely forgot to do it after he evolved. I probably should have switched Crystal in for this, but... Oh, well. Ugh. But yeah, I can't think of any other decent moves that Nidorino learns that we actually want. Okay, let's switch out, switch out Crystal for this. 
But Horn Drill isn't that great. It's a 30% chance to hit for maybe a one-shot kill. Like, the only one that I can even think of maybe waiting for is Poison Sting, just to give it an actual Poison-type attack. Oh, that was actually a fair amount of experience. But not quite enough, apparently. Oh, right, Fury Tech's pretty decent, yeah. Zappy, come here. Kill this stupid Zubat. Make it go away. Live in fear of the next time that a Zubat is actually going to use Supersonic on me. Stupid Zappy has too much attack for his own damn good. Urf. I'm undecided. Like, I definitely do want to wait until Poison Sting, just so he can actually get a Poison-type move, even if it is painfully weak. That was kind of stupid on my part. Oh! I didn't know there were Parasis down here. It occurs to me we never actually established if I can count this as a new area, but since we never established that, I'm not going to... Yeah, Thrash is pretty decent. That's part of why I was thinking about evolving the Nido King. Yeah, I, but we never established if this was a new area, so I'm not going to even try and catch it. Oh. Well, I mean, then we could also get a Nido Queen, since I don't think we've caught anything else that would be even remotely... Actually, I don't think we have anything else that can evolve with a Moonstone. There's really no reason to not just keep using Scratch. Okay. That was, what, six damage? We can handle one more if he doesn't crit. Or if he's stupid and tries to use Stun Spore again. Hang on. Okay, Crystal, how close are you to evolving? Because I thought you were actually there. Oh, you need 121? What the hell? Ugh, I'm gonna need to buy more potions again soon. I don't suppose I have any paralyzed heals, do I? Nope, that would be too easy. Uh, nope, because we're doing a Nuzlocke, and we got very lucky in getting the two Moonstone of Evolution guys that we got. <laughs> but yeah, I have not seen a Clefairy. Uh, I've... I guess, technically, I have them in my Pokedex because I've seen them from trainers, but I haven't uh, had... Damn it, I hate you, Supersonic! I haven't actually been able to catch either one of them. Fine, we'll switch in Purry Thing and he'll just stab you to death if you're going to actually use Supersonic. I am! I'm actually still trying to decide because we are going to be going through every... Um generation of Pokemon, and I'm trying to decide if we're going to do the Crystal Virtual Console, or if we're going to do uh, Heart Gold, because I have a copy of that as well. I don't know why I'm saving, it's just bad, ha or actually I guess good habit. Let's see. Okay, Rocket Guy, let's do this. That seems pretty decent, especially for early on. Oof. Okay, Ratatata, you're just gonna go away now. Except the crystal's paralyzed. Okay, I think Crystal can handle a Ratatata. I don't know why, but I've never used Fortress. And I love bug types, so I should probably try it at some point. I just never do. I think because I forget that, uh... What's its pre-evolved form? Pineco? Pinecone? Pineco? I don't remember the actual name. I forget that it's a bug type. Also, bug types are kind of butts in the first couple gens, but still. I forgot what this Pokemon was. Zubat. Ah, okay. 
Uh, Zappy, come on, finish it. Yes! I love it when it fails. Die! Just go away. Thank you, Zubat. Thank you for going away. Ooh. I mean, that is a pretty nice stable team. I don't quite get that luxury. <laughs> Ooh, yay! Crystal's evolving. Ha-ha! Well, hang on then while I go move this, and she's going to evolve, and I'm not going to stop her. Aha! That time I was ready! Hey, Althiel. Welcome back, man. Oh. I mean, the other thing is that when it comes to Scizor and uh, Scyther, they're both almost equally as good. They have different strengths, but they're both really powerful. And in fact, they actually have, like, the same stat distribution. Uh, what am I doing? Yes, double kick. I was hoping that would do a bit more! Oh my god, I wish I had a repel. Hey, Stark! Honestly, I also just wish I could catch any of these fucking things. I finally come down to this level and suddenly I see all of the somewhat rare stuff. It's kind of mean. Especially when we already got our first Pokemon, it was a goddamn fucking Zubat. Yeah. Uh. Oh my god. Seriously, why is this level so much better? I suppose I probably could have just, like, saved up, bought a bunch of repels, and forced my way down here first, but that seems really wasteful in hopes of getting a halfway decent Pokemon. Uh, the names are... The names are weird. So... <laughs> so here's the thing. Zappy was the first name. Because that's the first thing we got. Asshole was the second name. Because it took four Pokeballs to catch it. Uh... I, I'm still kind of proud of the Magikarp being named Magikan because everyone was saying that he was terrible and that we shouldn't use him. So I wanted to give him an inspiring name. Uh, I also kind of like the Zubat name, and that was our most recent one, I think. What else? I'm, I'm going to put the, Nidoran, or the Nidorino entirely on Alephcat. That was his name. And... I'll take credit for, uh, the Nidoran female, or the Nidorina being named Crystal, because I named it after my sister's awful lazy fat cat. I mean, that's also a very inspiring name, Stark. <laughs> yeah, that's why I wanted to name it something inspiring, because that's why I'm using it on the team. One day, it'll be a Gyarados. Oh, okay, I think this is the fossils. I didn't edit it. There just wasn't enough space. There is a character limit. And yes, I will go grab the other moonstone. This would go so much... Yeah, I will say, this is also everyone's chance to voice about which fossil I should grab. That's not what I meant to use! This is your chance to voice which fossil I should grab. Uh, 
It won't really matter for typing, because they have the same types. <laughs> uh, so we've got the dome fossil and the... Where is the moonstone? I am apparently confused. Also desperately wanting a repel. <laughs> That's also why I usually go for Kabutops as well. I keep forgetting Crystal's still uh, paralyzed. Ugh. Uh, but yeah, Aleph Cat came up with the original name for uh, this Nidorino based on, what was it, the cat from, uh... Uh, what's it called? On the wall, in the gap. Okay. Oh, is it a hidden item? Yep, okay, that's why. Ugh. Okay, well, screw it then. We'll make it a official poll if you're going to make me do this. Bot, where are you? Interaction. Oh, no, that's not a... God damn it. Transmet Metropolitan, that was it. Thank you. There. You've got a minute. Nido Queen does get body slam at 23. The problem is deciding. <laughs> Good job, Stark. Uh, the problem is deciding. Actually, yeah, we don't have to decide. So, I do think I'm going to keep them both until they get Poison Sting. Uh, just because Poison Sting seems good? Well, not good. It seems less terrible. Oh. Yeah, Bite Well, it's not Dark type, but... I really miss having the other two types. Really? Okay, fine. We're just gonna stab you with the horn again. Okay, Helix Fossil got- Can you stop confusing everyone? Look, all of my guys have too much attack! They'll hurt each other- Do you know any other moves?! The problem is that so many of my Pokemon have such high attack that if they accidentally hit themselves, it does so much damage. There. Okay. Stab him. Just stab him. Or fail. That works too. Just try it. Just... Oh, weird. You actually didn't hurt yourself that much. Okay, Purry Thing. Nope. I was hoping for consistency. Silly me. Wait, why was it super effective? It was bug on poison. That doesn't make any sense. I swear to God, if you use supersonic again, I am going to be so angry. Yeah, I don't actually see any reason to not get both of them, because we have such limited Pokemon because of the whole Nuzlocke thing anyway. Uh, I only have two potions left. Yeah, we're going to use them all on Purry thing. Yep, yep, you all picked Helix, so we're going to go for Helix. Oh, fuck, I forgot we have to battle him, too. God damn it. What Pokemon do you have, Super Nerd? Oh, good, you've got a Grimer. Wonderful. Um, I feel like Grimer is less special-based than 
physical, but we'll see together. Because he's gonna take away- Okay, good. I was afraid he was gonna take away my Thundershock. Okay, that didn't do as much as I was hoping. I may have had my stat ideas backwards. Or he could just keep using Disable. <laughs> Beautiful. Perfect. Totally fine with that. Yay, and we got Zappy to level up too. Wonderful. Okay, not Banshee. That would be bad. Um, I wanted to check stats, not switch, but okay, sure. Just horn attack it. Just, just horn attack it. Just stab it. <laughs> Fear the purry thing. He is clearly our best Pokemon. Uh, I still don't have anything good against coughing. Um, let's keep going with purry thing. He is just probably going to be our most powerful Pokemon for a while. Stab it. Stab it. Come on. Okay, that was some bull. That was some bull. There we go. Okay. Yes, you'll share one of them with me, you monster. Yes, we'll take the Helix Fossil. Yes, and you'll run away with the Dome Fossil, you monster. Oh, right! I forgot they're actually in this game. I don't know why I forgot, but I forgot! Oh, right, because I've never played this game, but I was aware that these two were in the game. Okay, that Ekans is more powerful than a lot of my Pokemon. Good, good, good. Um... Honestly, Purry Thing, I think you're just gonna have to carry us through this fight, and I'll have to grind everyone else up a little bit. Ugh. Yeah, that sounds like dealing with having Clefairy at kind of a low level for a while. But Metronome is kind of worth it. In first gen, isn't it entirely unique to Clefairy? Well, and Mew, but that doesn't count. Meow. Wait, no, yeah, no, I have a type advantage against Meowth. Let me beat the f crap out of it with Double Kick. Also, I'm calling bullshit. That was clearly just a normal Meowth sound. Look, if Pikachu can get the ability to say Pikachu, I feel like the Meowth should be able to say, like, I don't know, something Meowth is famous for saying. It's been a very long time since I watched the show, so. I don't know. Oh, yeah, that sounds like a grind. I just always... I don't ever like using normal types. Welcome to the channel, bmoney593. I know that there are a bunch of good benefits to using normal types. It's just always been a thing that I've never been super on board with. Okay, um... I feel like we should keep Leer just in case and we'll just replace Tackle, because Horn Attack is a strictly better Tackle. And we'll try it with Poison Sting. That wasn't blasting off, that was just disappearing. Um, hang on. I'm just really quickly going to check to make sure that there are no good moves that this Nidoran is going to learn. Or not Nidoran, Nidorino. God damn it. Their names just blur together so easily for me. Okay. So he just learned Poison Sting at 14. Wait, no, that's the wrong... Sorry, at 19. So he doesn't learn anything else until 36. That is not worth it. If we evolve him now, he'll learn Thrash at 23. 
Um, yeah, that's kind of worth it. And let me check Nido Queen real quick. So Nido Queen learns Body Slam at 23, but learns Bite at 36. Yeah, no, Body Slam is strictly better than uh, <laughs> Bite in this game. So we'll continue to try and get uh, Crystal up to, what does she need to get up to? 14, is, or not 14, 19, 19 as well to get her Poison Sting. But I think we can evolve Purry Thing right now. Where is our Moonstone? Which of course means I have to go change his icon. Which, again, I was actually prepared for, surprisingly. I mean, yeah, Earthquake is also amazing. <laughs> Fear the big angry rhino man. Oh, for God's sake. Haley just went out the front door, so now the dogs are all freaking out. Okay, wait, this is a new route. This is a new route. So, we have a chance to catch our next Pokemon. So the next non-duplicate Pokemon we find, we can catch. Okay. I don't remember there being any hidden items here, but again, I never owned this game. Yeah. Yeah, to get all of the... Look, Silver was the only game that I ever 100%ed. Do we have a Sand True? I don't think we have a Sand True. That's kind of a shit Pokemon to get, but... Um, yeah, the only way to get a lot of Kanto Pokemon was to trade them up from Red, Yellow, and Blue. Okay, asshole. You are going... Okay, guys, we need a name for a Sand True. I think the last time I was trying this, I named one Chewy, but that was back before I forgot that Sandshrew doesn't learn any good moves. Like, if I remember correctly, the best move it learns is, like, Quick Attack. Or not Quick Attack, Slash. Okay, we need to switch Asshole out. Um, Zappy. Pango Pal. <laughs> I, I honestly like Pangapal, if I'm completely honest. Shit! I don't know why I thought that was gonna work. Okay, nope, just gonna try and catch it. Spike, no! Spike bitch seems mean. Also, we don't know its gender. Stop it, you assholes. I like Sand Slash. The problem is that it just doesn't learn any good moves. Um, honestly, I still really like Pangapal. What is it? Pango... Yeah, Pangapal. I mean, it learns Slash eventually when it is Sand Slash, but at way too high a level to be feasible. Let's get to a Pokemon Center so that all of my Pokemon don't just die. <laughs> uh, I don't know about irrevocably. I will run into the Name Raider eventually. <laughs> that might be the meanest thing anyone has ever said to me, Stark. <laughs> Well, who are we going to switch out then to actually... Oh, wait. I know who we're going to switch out. We're going to switch out Asshole. Have you heard about Bill? Everyone calls him the Pokemaniac. I think people are just jealous of Bill, though. Who wouldn't want to boast about their Pokemon? Okay, but sure. Why the hell does everyone love Bill here? 
He's not even a goblin! Swift isn't a bad move, but it doesn't do enough damage most of the time. Uh, okay, so we'll deposit asshole. And we will withdraw. Pangapal! So, my thoughts on Alolan Sandshrew and Sandslash are about the same as my thoughts on normal Sandshrew and Sandslash. Oh my god, that's awesome! Why doesn't it learn any good goddamn moves? Sorry, why doesn't it learn enough good moves? Because you're right, Swift is good and Slash is good, but... After Gen 1, you just need to be able to do more damage. Yeah, I've... The speed stat was used for a lot of weird things in Gen 1. Also, welcome to the channel, CharChar989, and thank you very much for the follow! I don't know why that didn't make noise, or why it's not in front of everything. That's bad. Also, is that a Pokeball? Or an item? That should have made noise. Why didn't it make noise? Uh, Hang on. Twitch alert. Come here. Come up top. Just scroll. Scroll. Good. 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 There we go. Okay. Yeah, Alolan Sandslash is amazing. Oh, it's an Electrode. Alolan Sandslash is sweet. I think the quad weakness to fire and fighting is kind of painful because they're so prolific, but at the same time... Otherwise, I think it's really, really nice. I don't actually need that. Can you stop? I don't know if you all can hear that, but he's just sort of standing behind me clucking. Uh, let's get some potions. And... I don't think we actually need any more Pokeballs. Yeah, Ice has always been kind of a bad defensive type. It's like the same reason why I really want to like Obama Snow. But his stat, or his typing is so bad. And it's not even... Like, I like him because of his typing and because his design is sweet. But his typing just makes him so hard to use. Uh... <laughs> Oliver! Someone here has a Bulbasaur. God damn it, really? Oh, hey, there's the Bulbasaur. Yeah. <laughs> I take care of injured Pokemon. I nurse this Bulbasaur back to health. It needs a good trainer to take care of it now. Oh, shit. Pikachu doesn't love us enough. Can you please stop? You are actually clucking at nothing. Oh my god. Oh, no, I don't need to know about any of the fucking badges. I know what they all do. Or at least vaguely remember what most of them do. Why is this even here? I mean, there's gotta be a hidden item or something, but I don't know if I care enough to actually try and find it. Um, yes, but it requires having way more money than I've got, and I don't know how close to the happiness he is. Oh, damn it. Night, Alphcat. Okay, where's this stupid hidden item? Nope, not talking to Pikachu. I mean, you seem really happy, but you need to have way more than that, apparently. No, god damn it, Pikachu! Oh, wait. How much health to- how much happiness does it gain? Stop. Okay, that is- oh, I suppose they're the walls, but... I think you lied to me! <laughs> Or I'm just really bad and can't find it. Well, hang on then. Didn't I go to the 
Pokemon Center? <laughs> oh! Wow, that's massively cheap! Well, then I'm gonna take this as a chance to quietly sit my, uh, 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 what is this? Amaretto Sour, that was it. Ah. Okay. Okay, I think that's more than enough happiness for uh, getting the Bulbasaur. Give me Bulbasaur. Yes. Okay, we need a name for a Bulbasaur. Yes. Okay. So, while you all come up with a name for a Bulbasaur, I'm going to quickly go pull some sprites for a Sandshrew and a uh, Bulbasaur. Since, apparently I'm going to try and use Sandshrew. I get the feeling I'm going to be terrified by whatever you all come up with, but still. Do, 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 do. Okay, there's Sandshrew. Yeah. I'm just actively not looking at chat now, so I'm going to be very surprised when I come back. <laughs> or Disturbed. Disturbed is also a possibility, given you all. And... Let me check when it learns stuff. So I think we get it at level 5, I hope, because it learns Vine Whip at 13. I think I usually name mine Bulbasaur. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've, re I've replaced the red attack, I just need to replace it on the overlay. Um... Themed around Final Fantasy. <laughs> um, yes, we're going to evolve the Neat Arena. I just want to get her to um, uh, 19 so she learns Poison Sting as well. Tanky Tony. I'm actually kind of okay with that one. <laughs> it's going to really suck if we like transfer this up to Silver and it turns out that it's actually a girl, but... Oh, damn it, there is space for a space. Yeah. Tony, there we go. Where's the Y? Hey. Hi. Yeah. Oh, are you finally out of Zubat? Hell? What? Are you finally out of Zubat Hell? Yes. Yay! Okay. So, who are we swapping in for the, uh, Bulbasaur? Let's see here. Uh, so I want to use Banshee, but I don't think I'll be able to do that until I can actually, like, grind Banshee up, up a lot. So I think I'll swap that with, uh, Tanky Tony. Okay, now then, let me run around and change these overlay bits. I also for just forgot how big Nido King is. Somehow. Uh, okay, Banshee, you're, you're, there we go. Gonna be replaced with a Bulbasaur.
which is named Tanky Tony for reasons. And Asshole is being replaced with a Sand Shrew. Named Pango Pal. There we go. There. Now the team is actually correct. Goodbye, Zubat. I will miss you. Wait, did that actually put Tanky Tony in the party? Okay, good. Yes, he is 10. Wonderful. Okay, if we can get him three more levels, he'll learn Vine Whip. Uh, why is Solar Beam less powerful? Or does it just not learn Solar Beam? Oh, yeah, I, I know that Sandshrew is better than I think it is, because I'm also thinking of Sandshrew compared to, like, modern ones? Like, modern Pokemon, and the fact that its moveset hasn't massively improved since first gen? Um, honestly, I'm gonna switch Tanky Tony into the front, so that we can get him some experience and get him up to 13. Uh, nice try there, Corsa of Beast. Uh, <laughs> welcome to the channel, and welcome to the channel, Ross Moreau. Oh, shit, I forgot Gary's right here. Yeah, I probably deserve that. Stark, I won't let them die. Promise. Oh. <laughs> oh, he's not done for. Well, actually, if he's leading with the Spearow, it might be an issue, but that's why we've got Zappy. Sure, open with a Leer. I'm sure that works out great for you all the time. I was... Yes! Yes! Thank you for missing! Screw your stupid Spearow, it's always a pain in the ass. Right, we don't actually have anything that's that great against, uh, Sandshrew. So I was gonna send Tanky Tony out to, like, Leech Seed? And then just tackle? Oh god, unless it does a ton of damage. Okay, gotta switch Tanky Tony out. Got it. Uh, let's get the Nido King out here. And see how much face he can wreck. Uh, I think he may, but I honestly don't recall. Uh, just horn attack him, bro. That... Okay, it was a crit. I was about to say, that seems like it did more than it should have. Um, he also just might have different Pokemon, because uh, I know he has a very different team in yellow than he does in blue and red. Uh, oh, a Ratatata, not Pango Pal, um, Crystal. Crystal can handle that just fine. Yeah, because they do the weird thing where it's, uh... Well, goodbye, Dynamo. Thank you for stopping by. Hopefully we'll see you again soon. Uh, but yeah, they do the thing where it's like, they don't have any of the normal starters. There's just, like, one Pokeball, and it's an Eevee, and Gary fucking steals the Eevee. So you just get the random Pokemon that Oak found on the way there. Thank you very much for the follow, man. Wait, his Eevee is still just an Eevee? Heck yes. Well, I mean, eventually we also get to kill his Raticate, so... He loses a lot of Pokemon. I also forget that his Eevee is, like, his lowest level one. I am only a Cerulean, yes. For a second I looked at the Eevee's health bar and thought it was mine. The hell is wrong with me? Look, he clearly cheats. 
He's already got an Eevee. Clearly he cheats. I don't know. He could have found a stone somewhere. I also forget that he gets his own personal music. Okay. Is everyone mostly fine on health? Okay, yeah. Because they don't have any of the, like, switch out attacks any er, in this game. Yay, Nugget Bridge! The weirdest transition of fights in the game. Hey, Caterpie! Oh my god, you are very powerful. Um... Well, we're still trying to get Crystal up to 19, so I guess let's grind it out with Crystal. <laughs> I can definitely see that, man. He had surprisingly good music. I'm just amazed the amount of stuff that they're able to get out with the insanely limited amount of sounds that they could produce for this game. Or, like, that they could make the Game Boy Color produce. Actually, I guess it wasn't even necessarily a Game Boy Color for this one. Uh... Come on, Tanky. We really need you to level up more, man. God, your sprite is awful. But yeah, uh, fair warning that I am still maintaining a policy of no one is going to evolve off-screen. I keep thinking I'm using Thundershock, and I don't know why. I'm gonna get poisoned, I know it. So, I probably won't, uh, grind up Tanky too much off-screen. Just so that I'll be able to, um have his evolution happen. I think I'm also going to probably try and mostly use him for the upcoming gym battle. Um, except I, I do have to use Zappy at least once to boost his happiness. Uh, we took so much damage between those two fights. Let me run to the Pokemon Center. I want to try and finish Nugget Road today before we end the stream just to get Nugget Road done with, and so that we can do our first capture on, or our capture on the route above this as well. But that means we have to fight, like, six people. And that was only the first one. Uh, I forgot how much of a pain in the ass Nugget Road is. Oh, that's actually a really hard decision. So, I really like Lucario, but I think, honestly, my favorite Pokemon is possibly a tie between Shedinja and, uh, what's it called? Vulcanroth? Vul Vulcanrath? Vulcanra? Hang on. They're two bug types. And I can't remember the other one. Yeah. Uh, Valcarona. So yeah, it's definitely a tie between Valcarona and uh, Shedinja. Yeah, that one. I really like bug types and I don't know why. I think it's because they were so... Oh, wait, nope. Sorry, there's one more that's also sort of tied. Uh, uh, Galvantula. The, like... Oh, shit. Don't crit, don't crit, don't crit, don't crit. Okay, good. Um, the... The electric tarantula. Nidoran female. Okay, we can handle that. Um, Tanky Tony... But yeah, Volcarona, Shedinja, and uh, Galvantula are probably all tied for my first place. Because I just really like bug types. There's so many good bug types. 
Come on, Crystal, we need you to get two more levels, and then you're all good. And Volcarona has just insane stats. Galvantula isn't great, but I just like it because of its design. It's just so cool. And... Shedinja, I think, is just one of the most unique Pokemon that I have seen, and I wish that its typing was better for its ability, because that would make it so powerful. Like, as it stands now, it's sort of a pain in the butt to... to use, just because one shot from anything kills it. Like, when we get to, uh... Gen 3, I am 100% going to try and use uh, Shedinja in our main team. Because I really like Shedinja, it's just so difficult to use, though. <laughs> hey, youngster nothing. I keep wanting to say names. Ooh, Tanky Tony's about to learn Vine Whip, I think, after this... after. Hopefully after this fight. That was a quick attack. That was certainly a quick attack. That was certainly a very dead rat. I'm sorry, Aleph Cat, if you're still around. Um... Now we still need Takey Tony to hit... Uh... Hit 13. When do we get access to the Charmander? Because that's what I'm actually looking forward to now. Because we could really use a fire type. Of course, there aren't even that... Well, no, I guess first gen actually has plenty of fire types. Because you've got, what, like... I know someone has us honor-bound to try and catch a Growlithe and name it something I don't remember. Oh, name it Cosmo, yeah. But, like, first gen has, like, the Charmander family, Growlithe family, Vulpix family, Ponyta family, Magmar. There's gotta, uh, the Flareon. There's gotta be one more, right? I think there's at least one more fire type and something. But if there is, I'm just entirely forgetting it, apparently. I am not particularly okay with this Zubat, but since Zappy is taking a bunch of damage... Uh, Puri Thing, you get to try and just wreck this thing, okay? God, why are so many of the back sprites so terrible? That's all of them? Oh, okay, so Charmander is here. Okay. Yeah, for some reason I have it in my head that, like, Charmander... One, I thought that Bur Bulbasaur or Squirtle came before the first gym. Because that's mean. And I thought that it gave you uh, Charmander at this gym so that he was actually worse. But no. Because I know they give you Squirtle at Lieutenant Surge because they are monsters. That one's just so cruel. Hey, Cosmo. Yes, you're very pretty. Ah. I just like that they have to say that we hope to see you again soon through your Pikachu's butt, because it's just facing away from them and sitting on the counter staring at you. Just with creepy, cold, dead eyes. Okay, so we've got one more after this woman and then the dude at the very end. Ooh, Flygon is pretty sweet. I can see uh, Arcanine and uh, Growlithe, though. I I really like 
uh, chandelure, but every time I try and use it, it just feels like it doesn't do what I think it's supposed to do. Like, I, if I recall correctly, it's like tanky, and for some reason I have in my head that it would- oh god, I was afraid he was gonna use quick attack. Uh, I have it in my head that he's, like, more offensive than he really is. Okay, fine, more Nidoran females, sure. No? No, 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 what? No, what? What did I do? Okay, that's it. He's a sp Sorry. I... Maybe I just raised really bad chandelers. I... It should also be said that I definitely don't remember what anything is actually good at. I just have to vaguely try and remember what I have been told. Ah, uh, my scratch is better than your stupid, uh, the Fury Swipes and your weird double kick. I don't know why you're using double kick, but okay. Like, I guess the thing is I just always feel bad about using ghost types because it feels like they're just not that great. Yeah, but there's some that are just like, yeah, that's a good Pokemon. I should remember why it's good. Like, there are some that just, I know, don't see any significant play, and I just don't remember anything about them. Like, uh, the Garbadoir, or whatever it's called, and its first form. The two ones that are, like, uh, trash Pokemon, that are actually kind of trashy and shitty. I don't remember anything about their stats. Oh, shit, I thought that was gonna do more damage. Uh, fine, Horn attack him. I like Arcanine because fire is my favorite type. Yeah, for sure. And bit of old, the old doggo and I love dogs. Yep, I can agree with that one. Flygon because... Yeah, Flygon is just a really good design. Because it's cool, interesting new dragon. It's one of the few Pokemon I can't... Uh, I think it'd pull off cute and cool at the same time. Yeah, 100% Flygon can do both. I just think Flygon is a really, really nice Pokemon design. I think it's let down by its ability... Because Levitate is kind of a boring ability at the best of times. Especially when you compare it to the other ground dragon in uh, Garchomp. God damn it, those last two people did so much damage I have to go back to the Pokemon Center again. Oh, that's adorable, Stark. I'm sorry, I'm reading your Chandelier thing, and yeah, that's adorable. Um, I finally got Haley to start playing Pokemon games, and I th she's starting with um, Sun and... Or, I think she's starting with Sun. And I think thus far her favorite Pokemon has been one that I'm just like, Yes! I am behind this 100%. Because um, if you've played that one, she got... Um, Cutie Fly. And... I think that might be one of my favorite Pokemon from Alola. Just, especially once it evolves into Rimenby. Uh, because it's just so adorable and is also just terrifyingly powerful when it wants to be. That's it. That was the other one. Sorry, I have to add another one to my top... I guess now it's my top four. Vespaqueen is amazing. I know that there's already too many bug flying types, but Vespaqueen just has such an amazing design. I love it. I love how it doesn't even let us say no here, it just assumes we're saying no. He wants us to work for Team Rocket. Yay, we don't want to do that. Look, I beat five other people. Your two Pokemon aren't that scary. Let's see here. Zappy, kill the Ekans. Kill it! Kill it! It's okay to kill... Team Rockets Pokemon, but no others, just Team Rockets. Fuck, not rap. Okay, fine. <laughs> oh. 
I gotta also say, though, the Chandler is just a really nice design. Like, you look at that and you just go, Oh, yeah, that's Ghost Fire. That makes perfect sense. Totally didn't check what I'm actually fighting right now. Uh, Pegapal, let's switch you out so you can get some experience. And then switch you back out so that you don't just die. I mean, my favorite part about that whole question and answer thing was actually just that there were multiple instances of him going like, Are you sure? Like, really? You sure? You're sure? And not, at no point in it do you even get a chance to say your, yeah, blah, blah, yes or no. Uh, I gotta say one thing that I'm looking forward to now that we can actually stream a, from 3D from a 3DS is once we have a more hard and fast schedule and we start like not just streaming every day we can actually just relax and do a specific schedule um, eventually either I am going to try and play or I'm going to try and get Haley to play um, what's it called? Uh, whichever mother game is actually on the, the, the 3DS, or the 3DS Virtual Console. I want to say Mother 3, but it's not that one, because Mother 3 has never been released in the States. Even though it's amazing. Is it just Mother? Or Earthbound, or goddammit, they named their game so stupidly. Okay, let's see what our Pokemon is. It's a bell sprout. Damn it, this has the exact same types as our uh, as our uh, Tanky Tony, but it's our first thing, so if we're going to catch anything, this is what we're going to catch. Okay. So provided we don't crit this next one, Tony, don't crit. Okay. Good. Well, yay. Now we'll get a Bellsprout. It's not the most useful Pokemon, but it could definitely be worse. Okay, we need a nickname for a Bellsprout. What the hell do you call a Bellsprout? Welcome to the channel, Zool. Or Zulu, sorry. Uh, prefers hot and humid places, ensnares tiny insects with its vine, and devours them. But it has, like, a big Venus flight trap mount. That will 100% not fit. I'm okay with Wiggly, though. Wiggly might work. <laughs> oh, actually. Hang on, let's see if I can fit this. Ha! Nightmare face! There we go. Never gonna use him, but hey, we got him. Okay, does this man have Charmander? I feel like this is Charmander. Yay! Okay, now we need a fire lizard name. Huh, you appear to have pissed off the bot. What did you do? <laughs> See, the problem is that you... S you use too many capitals. <laughs> okay. This is another one where I can't be trusted because I'll just name him something stupid like Fire Lizard. I don't think that even would fit. Huh. The bot doesn't hate, it just quickly punishes and then forgets. I'm also not entirely sure which bot did that. Because technically there are two running? It's strange and hard to explain. Um, Rindle? Oh, 
Okay, nope, Trogdor. I can't do the voice, I'm sorry. Ooh, Burninator. Will that fit? No, burn, not burrito. Oh my god. We are... We are pushing the, <laughs> the limit every time. But it fit. It fit. Burninator was sent to the box one. Okay. What's this? Is that a good TM? God, I have to clear out the inventory soon. Thunderwave. It's not bad, but it's not great. What was this one? Mega Punch. I legitimately might give Mega Punch to Charmander. Because I believe it can learn it. No, none of these guys are going to be good at using Water Gun, so we'll save that. I didn't realize there was a human there. How did you see my feet in the grass? I wasn't in the grass. <laughs> I have seen Charizard's dinky little T-Rex arms. That's why it'll be funny. What am I fighting? Oh, I'm fighting a Ratatata. Right, that's why I was going to switch out to one of my guys with fighting. Look, in the anime, it also made a habit of seismic uh, tossing everything. So clearly the little arms weren't that big a deal. I am not triggering the missing no glitch because one, I don't remember how, and two, it seems like a bad idea. I like my save files relatively intact. Why did I switch Purry thing out immediately? I feel like that was a dumb move. Oh, or you could just crit. I mostly meant because someone's not getting experience for that, but whatever. See, the best part about all this work I'm putting into Purry thing... Totally not gonna help, because he's ground type now, so I can't use him on this gym, or he will just die. What does this guy have to do with the missing no glitch? Again, so, really quickly, I never owned Gen 1. I didn't own video games. I Like, I wasn't allowed to have video games in my house until my parents got me a Game Boy Color and Silver version. When Silver version was relatively new. Actually, no. I'm thinking about it now. I believe what actually happened was I was given a Game Boy Color by my parents who didn't give me any games with it because it was a birthday. And someone else thought I had a Game Boy already and gave me Silver Version. <laughs> that was a weird running issue with my games and or with my parents and giving gifts. Uh, like they got us a GameCube eventually, with no memory cards, so we kept playing Super Smash Brothers Melee and would unlock characters and then would come back later in the day and go, "None of our characters are here. What's wrong? Oh, we we couldn't save because we don't have a." memory card. I don't remember the uh, exacts, but you have to trigger the, his battle and hit pause button the exact same time. Fuck that, no. Well, there. I've already ruined it. Hey, Bill. Hey, we're actually going to go meet you right now. Albeit not a goblin, I think. Oh, God. I've made a mistake. I've made a mistake. Oops, um... <laughs> that was close. <laughs> He's fine, Stark. Nothing happened. He just took some damage. God damn it.
Wait. How does he try? I get. Yeah, I guess he does. I mean, he also. He's, shut up! He's fine! He's fine! <laughs> Pango Pal is fine! He is totally fine! There is nothing wrong with him. Oh, okay. On the upside, Gust is still just a normal move for some reason. Uh. <laughs> I also like the Bulbasaur. This is what happens when Stark gets uh, involved in naming too many of our Pokemon. I mean, we've also now got a Charmander that's hiding in the box named Burninator. <laughs> Well, I also like them too, Stark, so I'm probably going to try and keep them alive as much as possible too. Which is why I'm coming up here to grind and remembering that I wasn't actually going to do that? Hang on, what level does Bulbasaur evolve at? I should check. Yes, Bulbasaur. At least in this game, because I honestly don't recall. <laughs> I suppose we could probably just... Hmm? I know! Is it- Well, I don't even have a Game Boy, I've got a 3DS. Well, a 2DS. Okay, screw it. Let's try and get Tanky Tony uh, to turn into an Ivysaur, and then I'm gonna head out for the night. <laughs> Except, Stark, that uh, after today, that- this thing, God, I hope I'm pointing in the right direction, I can't tell, is going to have a rotating view of all of our, uh, dead Pokemon. Because we've lost one. But, any others that die will also go up there. <laughs> It'll just be like a rotating thing of, uh, all the Pokemon we've had die. <laughs> I mean, my first Game Boy was a Game Boy Color, so it was slightly less heavy. <laughs> Look, I set this up so that I would have to feel bad if we ever lost a Pokemon. <laughs> uh, yes, it was like the clear purple one. Because that was the first video game console I ever owned. Oh. Uh, hey, Tanky Tony, I need you to beat the snot out of this goddamn Geodude. See, I remember my Game Boy Color because we got, um, pretty quickly, like, we realized that the battery life was kind of shit. So we got one of the, like, external, not external, but like a, a big rechargeable battery thing that slotted into the back. And just had a little, like, uh power cable that ran into it. We have only lost one so far. We lost a Spiro named uh, Fury when I foolishly assumed that a Kakuna, like every other Kakuna and Metapod we'd ever fought, only knew Harden. Turned out it knew Tackle, and it critted. So that's how we lost Fury <laughs> in one shot. It was a little bit sad. Because <laughs> I think he was two or three levels lower, but he was also the only Pokemon we had that had a flying-type attack. Yeah. Uh, so it was like a level 11 or 12 Kakuna that a trainer had. And I went, well, it's only going to use Harden, so I threw out this Spearow, because it was the only Pokemon we had with a... Uh, uh, with a flying-type attack, because Gust isn't a flying-type attack in this game. Um, and he just got critted when it turned out that the Kakuna, unlike every other Kakuna in the game, knew Tackle. It was some bullshit. <laughs> I 
I mean, as soon as I get to Ghost Town, sure. Also, aren't lemonades better than super potions? Or is that just in other games? Uh, Pokemon is so randomly inconsistent about that. Damn it, Tony! I was really hoping we'd get Tony to just level up after one or two fights, but no. But no. I mean, I started with silver, so I've also never played this. <laughs> Kill it! Kill it, Tony! Kill it! <laughs> Yay! Good job, Tony! Yes! Yes! Okay, I'm not gonna- I don't have a sprite set up, so he's not gonna change immediately to be an Ivysaur. Look upon his beauty and beware. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that That's what I was remembering about lemonades, is that they're more cost-effective, but yeah, you do have to just sit there forever. At some point in a later Pokemon game, they let you buy... Um, what was it called? Uh... Moo Moo Milk by the Dozen, which was... I, th I think it was somewhere functionally between a Super Potion and a, um... And a Hyper Potion. Uh, but for way less. Because they healed for like a hundred, I think? I just remembered that that was being super effective, so... I wasn't trying to waste him needlessly. I also just occurred to me that three of our team are poison types. May have fucked up here somewhere. Look, I forgot that all of our team is... <laughs> is poison types. That might be a root issue with this whole, uh, team. I'm so glad we got that nugget so I could sell it to buy more potions. Damn, yeah, we are really weak to psychic types. Too bad the only thing that's good against them, against them is bug, and there are no good bug type moves. Yup. It's not like they had, had to add an entire extra type to deal with psychic. Uh, Crystal, I need you to hit 19 so we can get you to become a Nido Queen as well. Come on. You know my type. You're the same type as me. Why are you double kicking? Hell, you should know. Wait, no, you probably don't know Horn Attack. Yeah, that's the one thing I'm kind of hurting for here, is that apparently I, for some reason, thought you could catch, um, Weedle in yellow version. So I was kind of hoping to catch a Weedle, just to be able to... <laughs> um, just so that we could have a bug type that could learn not shit bug moves. Because... I mean, yeah, we'd have to deal with the massive downside of fighting it with a poison type, but at least we would have decent bug type. Well, not decent, but not shit bug type, but... Mm. Now I guess we try and find a ghost type, except all of the ghosts are also poison! What the hell is wrong with this game? I love these one damage double kicks. It makes me so much less concerned. I mean, the downside, Bill, is that it's still a Nuzlocke, so we don't have a ton of control over what Pokemon we get.
Like... Actually, I can't even... When is a good time when you might be able to get a Slowpoke? Because I would... I would be really okay with adding a Slowpoke to this team. Dang it, you're still not level 19? Okay, fine. You're gonna switch in as our starter now. Psyduck's not psychic, it's just pure water. Just with a stupid name. Okay, come on, Crystal. Kill it in one shot, please. I need you to hit 19. Damn it, that's not gonna be enough damage. If it kills you, I'm gonna be... Okay, good. I think after today, I'm actually gonna go look up and see where we can get a uh, slow poke and hopefully it won't be too bad he said geodude right yeah okay i can handle another geodude double kick it to death or do even less damage come on use defense girl damn it good geodude thank you for dying Crystal, how much experience do you need to go up one more goddamn level? Uh, Tanky Tony should probably be best for this. Because again, we also don't have any flying types. Come on, just die. Just- no! No! I need you to die! Ugh. I mean, that is the one good thing. If by some sort of amazing miracle we manage to catch an Abra, uh, this is on a 2D- like an actual 2DS. So, if we need to, we can trade it with another 2DS, or another 3DS, and, uh, make- Oh, shit. I thought the game froze for a second there. And get an Alakazam, so that would be sweet. It would be pure, insane, dumb luck, but it's possible. Well, maybe not possible. Possible, if not likely. Okay, another Geodude. Tanky Tony, you can handle this. Fine whip, go! Yes! <laughs> that worked much better. Okay, now then. Time to evolve our other... Moonstone, yes. Crystal, where are you? Yes. Fear the Nita Queen. Fear it! as it's slightly too large and covers its own name. Uh, I mean, this is the only Pokemon in this game that has a gender. I think we should be more concerned with uh, it making us lament. It's big and angry and scary. Okay, um... I guess I'm going to switch Pangapal in then, in the front, just so we can try and level him up but I'm hoping to not fight anyone else so we can just talk to Bill. Damn it, there's one more fight here. Fear me. Fear me, lass with no name. Fear me and go away. Well, we still don't actually have anything that's good against a grass type. Somehow. Yeah, I'm gonna have to swap in one of our two big tanky dudes for Burninator. I just have to figure out which one. Ooh, no, not Magician! What the hell? Magican, not Magi- I'm changing his name to Magician as soon as we find the name writer. Okay, Purry Thing. You get to try and destroy it. Oh, 
Horn attack it. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it. Oh, god damn it. I'm just not allowed to say kill it anymore. That makes them hold on with almost no health. Fine. Have a poison sting. So... I don't think we need to keep Nido King and Nido Queen. I did not see what they were switching into, so let's try and level up Panga King more. P Panga Pal. So the thing is that Nido Queen is a bit bulkier than Nido King, but she also so on top of being like lower attack, she also gets worse moves. So I think I'm just gonna keep going with Nido King. Um, I may still end up swapping Tanky Tony out just because we are really weak to psych or er, psychic and we don't need a grass type but in the like immediate short term I think I'm gonna swap out crystal then I would probably swap out um, uh, uh, tanky Tony after that The other thing is we've got a... L <laughs> we also have three ground types. But since ground's only major weakness is ice and grass, I'm not super worried about that once we've got a... Once we move Burninator into the team. Because once Burninator's here, grass types and bug types will basically just be a joke. So yeah, I think, I'm, I think that's going to be okay. Like, I like having the Nido King and the Nido Queen, but I think they're probably going to be more of a having them around as a backup in case one or the other dies, if I'm completely honest. Okay, let's talk to Bill, and then we'll head off for the night. And I will grind a whole bunch. That was a creepy noise, Pikachu. What is wrong with your eyes? Hiya, I'm a Pokemon. No, no, I'm not. Call me Bill. I am a true blue Pokemaniac. Hey! What's with that skeptical look? I'm not joshing you. I screwed up an experiment and got combined with a Pokemon. So how about it? Help me out here? Uh, that's disturbing, but sure. Sure, why not? They run the cell separation system. Why is that a thing that you needed? <laughs> see here's my bigger concern where's the fucking pokemon he got melded with like he just comes out where's the pokemon is it just dead okay pikachu those pupils were even worse <laughs> damn it bill Also, yeehaw, really? <laughs> Thanks, bud! I owe you one! So did you come to see my Pokemon collection? You live in a one-room house, most of which is taken up by a terrifying machine. Where is this collection? You didn't? That's a bummer. I've got to thank you. Oh, here, maybe this'll do. Cap received an SS ticket. That sounds worse when I say it like that. That cruise ship, SS Anne, is in Vermilion City. It, its passengers are all trainers. They invited me to their party, but I can't stand fancy do fa fancy dues. <laughs> Why don't you go instead of me? I don't feel like that was actually an option, but okay. I thought he had something to do with Eevees, and I don't know why. Yeah, obviously you gotta watch out for the SS. I feel like there's something having to do with slow pokes here, which would kind of suck, because we already ca caught our Pokemon for this route. Hang on. Slowpoke. Okay, where can we get slow pokes in Gen 1? Oh, I'm stupid. We can't get a slow poke until Route 12? 
What route are we on? I have no idea. This is Route 25. Oh, I feel like that's after Saffron City. Yeah, that's probably not going to work then. Wait, yeah, what the hell? You can get it way sooner in other Pokemon games. Like, you can get Slowpoke at Route 10. In uh, Red and Blue. What the hell? But they moved it back to the Seafoam Islands in Route 12 and 13 for this. Oh, okay. I thought Bill had something to do with EVs, but I just couldn't re remember what it was. I feel like there's a hidden item over here somewhere. But I don't remember where it is. So, with that, thank you all so very much for tuning in. We will be back tomorrow. Um, I don't know exactly when tomorrow. There's a non-zero chance that we might go a little bit earlier. Uh, or start earlier and go longer. I don't know. We'll see. Tomorrow is... Tomorrow. We'll find out together. I don't even know what we're playing tomorrow. It might be more of this, because I'm enjoying it. Thank you all very much for tuning in, and hopefully we'll see you all again soon. Uh, night, guys! Thanks for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Please consider checking out some of the other videos that are playing alongside this one, and uh, maybe think about checking us out on Twitter, Facebook, our Twitch. We're still running a 365-day streaming challenge and maybe consider supporting us over on Twitch or on Patreon if you really like we did, and if you want to get access to some of our other stuff like the Derpy Puppy Feed or our Patreon-only stuff. Either way, thanks y'all.